Hey everyone, I'm James Montemagno. And I'm Myra Wintel. Myra, I'm really excited because last episode we talked about null coalescing operators making it easy to check for null, but I understand that there's some brand new C sharp features that make assigning operators and parameters and variables easier with nulls. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, C sharp 8 added a new assignment operator that we're going to show it today. Cool. Let's do it. All right, so here we have a .NET Interactive Notebook that we're going to be using for this. So uh, let's import our statements. So we're going to have a system and a generic collections here. So before um, before a C Sharp 8, you would have to check, like, use an if statement to check if uh, a variable was null before assigning uh, a variable. So if in this case, if B is null, then you want to assign the value of A. So in this case, B, null, it's assigned to five, but you're saying if I just set it to six here, then... Yeah, no then, then it doesn't change its value. So um, with C, starting with C-sharp 8, then you have um, the null coalescent assignment operator. So it's a double question mark equals, and then what it's going to do is evaluate the value of B, so the left hand side. If it is null, then you will assign A. Gotcha, so here B is null, so five is returned because A is assigned then. Yeah, and then if you change the value of B to something else, then you should maintain its value. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so we have a little bit a larger example here with using um, a list of numbers. So we have a null a list and a null variable. And so we're gonna initialize um, that. And here we're doing the assignment as well, checking if number is null, then we assign the new list. And then as, as we're adding new elements, we're checking uh, is I null, um, and so let's run this example and then we can analyze. So we got 1717 as the, the numbers we added to that collection. So that means the first time it ran, it checked if I was null. In, this, in the first time we added, it was. So, so assign a value 17 to the variable I. The second time it ran, uh, I wasn't null any longer. So it kept the value 17 and it didn't assign 20. So if in the middle of that statement, you made I null again, um, you would change the result and would do 1720. So in this case, like you don't have to keep checking. It makes the code so much cleaner um, with using no, no coalescing assignment operator. That's really cool because it seems like you can combine just the standard double question mark and the assignment based on if you want to assign it or do you just want to return that default value? So that's really cool. Yes. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So that's that's the feature that was added in C Sharp 8. Awesome. And I think there's awesome documentation, the same documentation. Look at this. As I said, they kind of pair together here, Myra. I love yeah. it. Uh, so we'll put a link to this documentation, of course. And of course, I love this because you can just run it directly in the browser and check out all the cool features. Yes, that's correct. So thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Cheers.